today we are going to be playing in Adobe After Effects and I'm going to tell you how I did this animation with uh, uh, an effect that I did not use before and I think it's fantastic, the Warp-O-Matic. Kinetic type series. series by Hulk 79. So the way I found this effect is like from time to time what I do is like go through everything again and I just check one by one uh, especially the ones that, that they still feel like I did not play before with them and that's something that you need to do from time to time like okay what's here that I'm missing in the in the software from time to time go through all of these because you know this is called After Effects for something. So I have this text set in Arial Bold Italic, very, very basic looking text. Also, we are looking for the Warp-O-Matic, this here, CC Warp-O-Matic. We apply it to the text layer and let's see what's going on here. The, le the, the first parameter is completion and that's going to be something like 12 then in smoothness we are going to lower it down let me open this so that everything is more visible and here in the warp amount this is very very key this is where the magic start happening uh, and that's pretty much it if you look into the if we look into the original parameters that I used here I was at completion it was like 12 then smoothness 17 the smoothness it's very important to get the specific look you want and the warp amount I was playing with that I animated it so that it feels like a reflection is going on an animated reflection so let's go back here and let's increase the warp amount you see uh, we, if we animate this which is something that we are going to do it's going to feel like a little bit more alive let's say that it goes from uh, 200 into 500 that's more interesting so and the next thing that I found is like playing with the kerning or the tracking in a very extreme way like uh, a negative value where the letters start like overlapping and then also like the leading, which is like the distance between the, the lines of text. It starts to make these intersections like very interesting thing. But what really sets this apart is if we create a, an outline here, okay, in this case a black outline for the text, and we start increasing here the thickness of, of that outline, uh, I think this is what <laughs> I fell in love with, like this effect where you know like the letters are kind of kind of overlapping, but with this we are creating this super nice effect. Um, and yeah, that's that's super interesting. Let's play again with the smoothness, increasing it like a lot. And I like it how it feels like they are like kind of uh, not touching each other. And that's because here the outline that we created so if we activate the transparency you see that this is kind of weird so if you would like to have it like only the white parts in opacity and everything that's black here being like transparent we can come with this effect which is the extractor the extract excuse me and if we apply it and start like moving this value here we are going to get rid of the black parts of it and you see these kind of ugly parts where we still have some black we can then apply like a fill and that's going to make it way cleaner and we can control like the, the, the exact color that we want so yeah i think this is a very very cool effect it looks like kind of pictorial in a way and very clean so again uh, play with the parameters of it and most importantly have fun Kinetic Kinetic type type series. Series by hulk 79